in the baby center. Welcome to the fermented homestead. homestead. Not the Hamaku homestead. The fermented homestead is apparently a person that is at. <laughs> Can I go pee now? Yeah. Where's the catsup? Catsup. Apple cider vinegar, apple cider, apple cider honey. Six pounds of ketchup. Pounds and cups are not equally correlated. You want to weigh the ketchup? Yeah, I do now. Okay. Welcome to the fermented homestead, that, that's me, and we are at the Hamakua homestead. My name is Anna. Tiffany. And we are here getting ready to can up some good old Pawpaw's Bywater barbecue sauce out of this book. Link will be down below. I will also list out all of the ingredients in their proper measurements as well so that you can have it for your handy viewing pleasure. So we need brown sugar, salt, garlic powder, onion powder, dry mustard, black pepper, regular paprika, we have substituted smoke because that's all we got, chili powder, ground red pepper, but we're gonna substitute some gochugaru because that's what we got. Why did we get red pepper flakes? I don't know. We have an extra ingredient. Ketchup. Lots of ketchup. Lots of ketchup. A water. I don't have any Where's yet. Your water? I don't have any water. Hey. Apple cider vinegar. Apple cider. Honey, Dijon mustard or Creole mustard. Wash your sister sauce. Bottled, specifically bottled lemon juice. Fiery fermented hot sauce. We don't have that, so we're using fermented jalapeno sauce. Mm. It's not hot. No, it's not, but it's fermented and it's hot sauce. We need to combine all of the spices into a pot and that's where you can get them all married together and, and mixed. And then we'll add a bunch of other stuff. Yeah. We need this big fancy pot. You, you don't need it. You just need a pot. A pot. You're doing. I'm firmly packing the brown sugar. Mm -hmm. You need another camera. Oh. So we have more to work with other than just looking at the pot. I'm gonna push unrecorded. Don't know how to sync the videos. Three tablespoons. Three really? tablespoons of salt. Holy crap! Something like you in the morning. Mustard. Three tablespoons of mustard. Holy crap! I'm cracking. I'm gonna like this. Keeping is perfectly fine, Emma. Yeah, it's going in your face hole. So five. What? Six. Your life. Measuring nine. So you have to do teaspoons, and it's three teaspoons to a tablespoon. The more you know. Word. One yeah. tablespoon. Yes, ma'am. Two teaspoons paprika. T T teaspoons. The little. You tea. don't have three two teaspoons. You have like we one teaspoon. Two teaspoons. Chili powder. Half of a teaspoon. How much ketchup? Stir together the first nine ingredients. 
stir them all together. Spatula. There. Oh, I found it. Good job. Oh, I need to stir these first. Mm -hmm. That's what I just said. Then add ketchup and remaining ingredients and stir. Word. You could make this, not this recipe, you could make barbecue sauce with fresh tomatoes instead of ketchup. But, but it's the end of November. It's the end of November. And tomatoes are $6.99 a pound in Hawaii. So no. $6.99 a pound for something that tastes like waterlogged styrofoam. Store-bought tomatoes taste like, like disappointment. disappointment. Even more so in November. They're terrible. 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 But ketchup, now on the other hand, that tastes like corn syrup. High fructose corn syrup. Okay, now we got them. Add ketchup. One and a quarter cup apple cider vinegar. You're the best assistant ever. You could rival Vanna White. Woo! Three quarters of a cup. Apple cider. We just happen to have apple cider because it was Thanksgiving and somebody decided it was festive. Quarter of a cup? I don't know if I've ever made a canning recipe with quite so many ingredients. It's kind of a lot. Onion. Cuss. It makes me not be able to use the footage. Shoot. <laughs> oh no, I just splattered. I'm sorry. You just washed it. I know. That's why I said I'm sorry. It was a genuine sorry. I got it. You're so cool. Mm -hmm. How much do you need? A third of so that means. That means a quarter plus a little bit. Mm-hmm. What's your sister? Two and a half. Oh my gosh, the oven's not even on. No, it's not. Are you gonna turn this over? on? That's my job. Because we have established, I know how neither to turn it on nor off. How much? Two. Two tablespoons of that and lemon juice. Now we just need your fake fiery sauce. Mm -hmm. Hello, Dad. Hello, Dad. You're gonna be our taste tester later. Okay. I'm all over it. Yay. Bring to a boil. Mmm. Reduce heat, medium, and simmer for 20 minutes. Stirring frequently. Stirring frequently. You sound like an, like an announcement. You had ketchup in here, now you have two. I'm sorry. Find them. Uh, what are you thinking? That's what I was thinking. Wow. But I do think I'm gonna have to make some of this for Robert, if it's, if it's good. He loves barbecue sauce. What now? That smells like barbecue sauce and vinegar. I startle you. Ow! What? Should we get the canner heated? Are you stirring occasionally? I'm currently stirring, so yes. Good job. Your barbecue sauce is bubbling! I stirred it. I'm stirring Dad. I know that. It smells good. Mm-hmm. Yeah. How do you turn it down to medium? You're not to use the stove? I'm, I'm not here for long enough to make that something worth doing. Boiling. Good. A lot. It says reduce. You did. You reduce it more. So that's more than a that's, that's more of a boil. You can't do a taste test yet. Nope. Just be on no, camera. Just... He is on camera. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You're just trying to catch your boost to the kitchen. Your stove is hot. Yeah, I don't even know how you can on it with your presto. It seems it's so got hot. a warped bottom. Oh, that's dangerous. You can't throw it away. Yes, you can. That's dangerous. 
And it's so dangerous. Yes, I have used it many times since it became work. Make it bigger and that could be like a weird kid's ride. And put little action figures in there and recreate the scene from our childhood. It's funny. Yeah, that's so dangerous. <laughs> <laughs> a stomach vinegar. Place in a boiling water can. That means water that can today. Before your barbecue sauce is done, get your bottle. Well, well, get your words in order first. Water bath container. I told you I don't know how to push record. It's making noise. It's not supposed to make it's noise. It's not. Oh, probably should do that. The sauce is slightly thickened. My sauce. Well, I found the piece of glass. The question is, where did it come from? Where did you come from? Where did you go? Where did you come from, Captain? I don't know. Where the heck did it come from? Maybe it's just, oh, from the factory. Downtown. Peaches come in, in a can. can. I feel like it just came from another box. <laughs> Good thing you didn't give up on it. Shoot it. Oh, yours is not frozen. You only have to do it one time. Okay. Half an inch. Good, I hate quarter inch headspace. First, what are they thinking? Just test the recipes at a half an inch and give me the numbers for half an inch. Nobody wants, nobody likes quarter inch headspace. It's an oil egg. I am, that is fact. I think it's thick. Thicker. It's thicker. It's slightly thickened. Slightly. Now we need to ladle them in. Little it. <laughs> Now we need to ladle it into the jars to a happy headspace. Watch your hand. That's good. There's some good B-roll for you. Wait, Dad. What? You have to do an official I'm doing doing anything. video. Yeah? Well, it's got to right. be tested, right? Go, All right. go test it. How can I it. test it if it's in the jars? You got to test it on camera. For them. Oh. We have to do things. Do it. All right. Okay. So we're, we're ready. We it has thickened and we have my dad here, our dad here, Hi. going to do a taste test. Yep. Eat her. It's hot. A little bit. It's real hot. It's hot. Mm. Mm. Yeah. We're good? Yeah. Really Spider good. that on some chicken? Yep. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Chicken or steak or anything. Mm. Good job, girl. Do you approve? Thank yeah, you. I do. Yay. Papa approves Papa's recipe. <laughs> <laughs> Quit cursing! I can't use the footage! Leap it. Why does ladle sound like such a weird word? Ladle, ladle. Here, move it. It's not a ladle. To where? Sure. Move it fast! To where? To the right, to the right, to the right. Sorry, it's really, really hot. Yeah, that's why the rags right there for you to use. I didn't look. What are you doing? God. Why am I using a plastic one? I had a perfectly good metal ladle. It has to be so anti-plastic. What happened to you? People on the internet are gonna love you. For what? I'm not washing the drawers. Oh yeah, I know. I decided I don't care. Okay. Six one pint jars. But we're doing half pint jars, mm -hmm. so they do not take up space in the fridge. Mm -hmm. I wanted to it. So do I, but it's got a lot of sugar in it. Should they get like a lot of water? Plus, Plus the ketchup. ketchup. But that doesn't have real sugar. It has high glucose corn syrup, so it doesn't count. Yeah. What's your problem? Choke on something? Yeah. Mm -hmm. That doesn't sound very pleasant. It's more pleasant than choking on my own BS. Well, you do that daily, so I'm going to mix it up a little bit. Oh my gosh, why are you swallowing this? Let's taste test it. 
I know you mean sugar. Just lick it. That's some tasty barbecue sauce. Only thing missing is a little more heat. Mmm. That's delicious. That is really good. You have to clean them all up anyway. Safe canning practices. I just meant that we have to clean it up more. Oh my gosh. Where the heck are your favorite towels? Right there. They're right there. They're right there. This is only 4% acidity. Did you check that? <laughs> Just kidding. Well, you means you didn't check it because you didn't know. I did. And wipe the rims with vinegar. Oh, yours is sloppy. Nah. You're welcome. And you keep tight. Mm hmm. when I wiped it earlier. Yeah. It was number three. It was the third one I did. And then I thought that maybe it would make more sense if I put it over here and then we switch sides because then you're not having to walk around me, but then you kept walking around me so then I gave up. Oh. It was the third one. Makes sense. I thought so. We're gonna bring this up to a rolling boil. <laughs> and once the boil is rolling, then we will set our timer for 15 minutes, adjusting for altitude, which means an extra five minutes where we are. Wait five minutes before you take your drawers out of the canner so they don't have shock going into the cold air effects. And it can also cause, it can bring about siphoning if it cools too quickly. <laughs> and then it will ruin your seals. Too quickly or too slowly. Mm, not so much slowly as far as siphoning, as far as I'm aware. Unless you have information I don't. Flat sour. Flat sour can occur, but not with most of the ingredients. Did you know that only occurs with certain ingredients? No. Yeah. Green beans and corn. Meatballs. Meatballs? Did you have to have a meatball to take it? Well, I don't know the signs of flat sour. They make it taste really sour to the point that you eat it. No. No, I never experienced that. I looked it up. I was curious. I was, I was scared when I first beginning when I first started. In the big beginning in the in the in the in the beginning. Big, 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 big. Yes. Or something. Ow. Be careful. That's hot. hot. Do you have anything you want to say about this barbecue sauce? It's delicious. Mm -hmm. And the people watching should make it. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to bring some home to my hubby so that he can taste test it. Mm -hmm. We'll put that in here. <laughs> I fried up some chicken nuggets. I put some of the sauce in there. And I baked it in the oven. 500 degrees for like 10 minutes. Looks like it thickened up and crisped up and it's now it's all cooked and warm. And I got a spoon of the stuff that I didn't cook. I'm gonna try that first. All right. This is uncooked. Uncooked. Good barbecue sauce. Yeah. I'd have to say it's better than regular barbecue sauces. Normally, uncooked. Let's see what it tastes like cooked. Because you know, some of them are sort of a little bitter and harsh when they're not cooked. I won't say the name brands. <laughs> All right, here we go. Hmm, okay. All right, yeah, that's a winner. I think I would use this all the time. If you made it all the time, why? I can make it. That's yeah, why I brought some definitely. Party so I could know if I should make it. Yeah, I could do this. Yeah. It passes the test. Yeah, it passes my test. Good. I don't like barbecue sauce, you know. You know how it is. 
That's good. <laughs> and Malachi? Malachi's in Wisconsin. Oh. And it's like 16 degrees there. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Malachi. Hey, Malachi. Well, there you have it. 14 jars of barbecue sauce to put up on the pantry shelf. You yeah. Should, you should also make this recipe. You should. Okay, now do it for real. Okay. That's all there is to making 14 half pint jars of barbecue sauce. If you do make it in the half pints like we did, you do still have to can it for the full pint time that is listed inside of the book. Because anytime that you are rounding down, you have to round up. Or something like that. <laughs> you can't round up. You can round down with your size, but you still have to do it at the set time. time. Yes. The closest matching higher time, that's what you have to can it for. So I hope you guys enjoy this. Add this one to your pantry as we have done with her pantry. And I'll be making this stuff again when I actually get back home and I can put it in my pantry without having to take it on a giant airplane across the world. So there's that. At any rate, enjoy, enjoy, enjoy the video. If you guys would like to see more of our shenanigans that we have done while we were here in Hawaii, check out this video right here where we made some, what did we make? Cranberry, cranberry sauce, sauce and bread. Yes. Well, this is my cranberry sauce video. So check that one out. We are still in time and the cranberries are still massively on sale and in season. So check it out mm -hmm. if you wish to. Peace, Peace out, sauerkraut. sauerkraut.